These two Republicans stand out in this crowded field of seven candidates for a couple of reasons. Voters looking for a candidate who shares the same political views as Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene will find a kindred spirit in Bill Shook. I really like Miss Green. I think she is just a fabulous, she is one of the fighters. She's the ones that are willing to go and throw a punch in a place where punches are hard to throw. The six district candidates campaign website doesn't mince words about where he stands. He states on his site, quote, I am a bully. Can you explain the thinking behind that? That we're working with a bunch of bullies. And I come with the experience that says, the one way you beat a bully is you bully him right back. But you bully him more than they're bullying you. You answer with a punch right back. We're not punching back very hard as Republicans. Time to throw some political punches. Shook's website also states that Democrats are destroying the country and that if elected, he will not work with them. Quote, if you're willing to allow the D to be next to your name, then you are not my friend. If I reach across that aisle, it will not be to shake hands or offer a hug. What I'm saying is that I'm more talking about the progressive end of the Democratic Party. Cannot be worked with, can't talk to them, you can't reason with them. Most of them, like the, uh, the AOL, AOL, AOL C's and the Rashida Tlaibs, they're petulant children. What is it that you're telling voters about Well, you? for me, it's name recognition. Uh, you know, the districts have shifted a lot. Christian Castelli has more campaign money than his six opponents combined. His latest fundraising report shows he has more than $200,000, but most of the money comes from himself in the form of loans. Castelli is the only candidate in this race who doesn't live in the 6th District. No, I don't think it's an issue. Once I explain to them that you don't have to, most people don't know what the rules are. And so when you explain that, the fact that 25% of the people in Congress don't live in the district they represent, uh, that's a nice fact that most people are unaware of. WXII 12 News found no evidence supporting Castelli's claim that 25% of congressional representatives don't live in the district they represent. The most recent study found 21 members of Congress, less than 5%, live outside their district. Half the folks don't even know what district they're in right now because of redistricting. And, and, and to be quite frank, uh, when Howard Coble was the congressman here, mm -hmm. he was my congressman too in my current residence. I've been redistricted in my house five times in the last 16 years and three times in the last three months. Mr. Castelli says his claim about 25% of Congress living outside their district came from someone he knows, not a published study. No requirement says that you have to live in the district in which you run. Mr. Castelli says he lives in Moore County, plans to move into the 6th district if he wins the primary. Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.